so hello everyone so in the last video we saw how we can uh, create uh, this kind of map using geojson and leaflet js right so uh, now we want uh, to leverage that uh, for visualizing some data from api okay so how do we do that okay so i have uh, thought of creating uh, weather information uh, when this uh, gets clicked for a particular country we will show the flag okay country flag and uh, along with that uh, the country name and uh, the weather information over there okay so uh, whichever country you click you will get the flag you will get the weather out there and the country name okay so pretty cool uh, application right so let's uh, see how this can be done so we have to first create an account in weather api okay you can use any other api for weather information but i saw this was giving some good plans for free also i think uh, you can make some quite a large amount of calls but we this is just for display purpose so i think we don't need that but let me go through the plan once see 1000 calls per month okay one uh, sorry 10 lakh calls per month okay so and that's for free so uh, free one only we chose okay so coming over here uh, in the dashboard you will see your api key okay so copy that and go to api explorer and in interactive explorer okay you will uh, give your api key over here and make a call so that you get see what kind of request you have to send okay so this is the url you have to pass the key over here the country code okay air quality index we don't need so it's no and we will get the response back so response is somewhat like this where our information uh, which we need is inside current okay so current there is condition it's type text icon we have okay and uh, temperature humidity is also there below humidity okay so we will be leveraging this api and another one we will be leveraging is the country flag api okay this one so here uh, what it's saying is how to use how to use so basically we have to give the country name and hit and we will get the respective image so if it's brazil okay it will give the flag of brazil if it's london okay london uh, is not a country india okay if you give usa let's see we are getting flags okay so we will be leveraging this api also so now how do we do that so if you attended our last session there we have uh, made this function where we were initializing the map we were adding the tile and we were adding this uh, geojson uh, where we have the world countries and world countries is the geojson file uh, which we have all the countries uh, uh, coordinates okay so we have all the countries uh, coordinates over here okay so that's how this map got generated that's how this uh, layer uh, overlay right uh, this one got generated now uh, in that on each feature function on each feature function on every layer click okay so when there is a click on every this area okay let's say for this area we are clicking on that click what we are doing we are making an api call okay so we are making an api call 
uh, let me reduce the size a bit let me so that you can see okay so we are making a api call okay and in fetch we are passing this weather api url and we are getting the response as json back okay so and then we are parsing the data okay so from the data we are generating this variable okay so in this variable weather we are having a div inside that we are having data dot current dot condition dot text which will give us like sunny or cloudy okay so if you go to this uh, you will see inside current we have condition that inside text and there okay so data dot current dot condition dot text and we are having humidity okay so the humidity one is inside current directly so humidity data dot current dot humidity then temperature data dot current dot temperature in celsius so it's here data dot current temperature in celsius so once we have that what we are doing we are binding it binding it inside our pop-up okay so here we are giving first the flag so this image is actually the flag what this is doing is uh, it is calling this country flag url which is this okay and it is passing the feature dot properties dot admin which is the country code okay so the country information if you see feature it's under feature admin you have the country okay so we have the country width and height we have so this is the image which is getting displayed for the flag okay and then we are having the country name which is nothing but this again feature dot properties dot admin and we are appending our weather this uh, div okay so all the weather information we have inside this weather variable okay so we are basically appending that here okay so and if we have any error in this api call we are catching that and console logging it okay so this is it uh, and uh, these are the styles which is the yellow color which we have for this okay so nothing has changed <coughs> so nothing has changed from the last uh, session you can say uh, not, uh, except for this part where we have added this little uh, information in order to make an api call when someone clicks on this particular layer so rest all is same okay rest all is same we have the uh, map we have the tile okay we had the style earlier also we had this geojson for the displaying this country cleropath map okay okay now only thing we added is on click okay on click we are fetching doing a fetch api call and we are getting the weather information and binding it to a pop-up and displaying that okay so when you click this now you see the country flag the name the weather information okay any country you click so you get the name you get the flag you get the weather okay You get the flag you get the name you get the weather okay so this is it hope you like this video so thank you for watching